All right, so today is the second day and uh, before I start, I want to show you the, the condition of the existing tattoo. So yesterday, we didn't wrap it with anything. You must have seen people who do uh, two sessions. They put a lot of uh, ointment, they wrap it, they, you know. So I recommended to, you know, to keep it like dry and do not put anything on this because I wanted to ooze it and, you know, get it dry. So all, if you can see the tattoo, everything is all dried here, right? And same with the yellow color and the orange and the all the blending. Uh, I wanted this because now when I'm going to work on this area, this particular thing is going to be protected. Uh, the new color will not go over it easily because all the pores are you know packed with the body fluids. So I'm not planning to clean it as such. I'm going to do a you know, little bit of uh, wash, but not a deep clean over to this. I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to finish the entire tattoo like this. And this is my way of working. Now there are so many artists have different ways of doing things. This is how I continue my tattoos. And about the stencil, as you can see, the stencil is still intact. So I ask my clients to you know take care of the stencil. In case if the stencil is gone, I can place it like I place a new one on it and it's quite a easy thing to do. Uh, but it's not covered in this webinar where I, you know, uh, work with two stencils. So let's get started. I'm using the same setup today. Uh, I've got the colors again, a little bit. I mean, if, if you see, I've placed the colors in different cups this time based on uh, today's requirement i'm using a sol nova with 15 magnum soft edge i'm using the magnum sideways as i need a soft edge need a soft thick line as it's going to be a starting point to work inwards towards her mask, towards the cheek area. And uh, I'm doing it with really light hand while the machine is running really slow at uh, 60 hertz. The reason I have to go slow and easy right now because I'm working on exactly uh, on that area where I you know, finish the piece yesterday. So um, it is already a worked area. So if I go really hard on this area, it's going to damage the skin. So I have to be very careful. Also, while cleaning with tissues, while wiping out, I have to be very careful that I go uh, really light hand. And uh, at the same time, I wipe it away from the yesterday's piece and not just go over it. The reason is uh, if you if I wipe it and if the color goes over the you know yellow and the oranges, it 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 will it will absorb the color. It will absorb the darker color, and uh, what will happen is your piece will get muddy. So I I I want to click some good pictures at the end of the session. So I don't want my piece to get muddy, and so I have to make sure that you know I keep it clean for that. I mean, it's it's a best practice to you know wipe it away from the you know from the tattoo which was done uh, you know few hours ago or you know the previous day. And um, now, this this actually doesn't um, affect the final outcome once it is healed. So even if I go over this and if the piece get you know gets muddy, it's not going to affect the final healed outcome. It's it's just you know at the end of the session if I want to you know click some good pictures, I have to make sure my piece stays clean and that's why I'm wiping it away. As we learned about uh, the paintbrush color packing technique, I'm I'm using that technique with my pendulum technique. I'm just combining both as you can see on the screen. I'm going with slow machine. I'm, I'm smoothly pushing the needle into the skin 
while my machine is at a good angle it is not going straight not a perpendicular angle as such and i'm pulling that you know needle off smoothly so that i can create a gradient out of it so if you see both the edges the the top at the bottom you'll see that you know, there is a smooth transition happening so if i want to mix any other color it's easy and as we spoke about can you see how fast it is color packing with this technique i just had like two or three strokes over it and the color is nicely packed into the skin I'm going to create a nice color blend from here which you can easily relate to the color fundamental session which we did earlier where I showed you how I mix the colors on piece of paper. So far I'm working on a darker shade of blue uh, and from so I'm, I'm actually following the the reference the image on iPad and uh, where I'm working right now, it's the darkest area in, in, in that patch. And um, so I'll finish the darker area first. And uh, then I'm going to start, you know, blending with other colors. So I'm going to go upwards from here. So after the blue, as you can see in the image, after the blue, the, the blue, as in the dark blue, the blue is going to get lighter and it is going towards the mint green color. So through the technique of uh, you know the paintbrush and the pendulum, the mix of it, I have a nice color packed area while the edges are really soft, which are kind of open for me to you know c blend the other colors and create a nice transition from one color to other to other. So I've picked up a true blue color now. So it's time to create a transition. And I'm going to do the same kind of technique and mix the color with the previous one. So what I'm doing is I'm going uh, halfway over the previous shade which I have there. So that it mixes it with it and we get a nice uh, gradient out of it. I'm not washing the needle as you know much so I have the color in place and I'm just dipping it in you know a little bit of water little bit of cleaning not the entire thing and then picking up a new color so that I get you know a color up uh, a, a color which is in between the two colors I pick so as you learned before I mix the color in the needle and in, in the tip and the second blending happens on the on the skin so i picked up the uh, sky blue color which i have in the palette so it's going to go lighter from here so now it's a sky blue color so once this is done you'll see me again dipping the uh, tip to the next color which i need So I have now white into my tip but as you can see it's not white because I didn't wash the needle entirely. I just, I just picked up the white with the existing color in the tip and I got a lighter color in my tip which is going on to the skin now. So now we have a mint green color in the needle. I washed it a bit more and now we have nice mint color going in. 
with the blue which I did previously. Very similar to what I did on a piece of paper with the pigments. So no fast movements, no rush here. I'm going slow and I'm just focusing on, you know, nice color pack, uh, color packing technique. As you can see in the image, we have this white highlight coming off the eye. So I have to be careful that I don't go over it because I'm going to push the whites, pure white in uh, the next session. The session which I'll work on only whites. So once the entire piece is healed, I'm going to do whites after that, maybe after 90 days. So I have more white into the tip. It's easy, right? I mean, it, you just, I mean, it's, it's easy to create the shades in the tip. So whichever color you want, which is uh, a color, you know, in, in, in between the two shades, the two main colors, you just have to dip in one and then dip in another and you get, you know, a color, which is the mix of it. This simple understanding helps you create all the required colors to create a nice, beautiful, you know, soft transition. Again, I took the blue and dipped it in a white a bit because I need a little darker shade from here. I didn't wash the needle. I had um, the mint green already in it. So I added blue to it in the tip. I'm saying it again and again, but that's that's simple. I mean, you keep uh, dipping your needle into different caps to you know to to get the different colors you need, and that's how you do the mixing. Initially, you might find it uh, difficult or tough, but that's not really it is. It is just your mind needs to um, you know understand it. It, it's more like a common sense so uh, the only way you're going to get this right is if you practice it more so i would say start painting your painting doesn't have to be the best as such uh, what matters is um is you understand you you play with the colors and you you get to understand it how it works and for me that's the easiest way i mean uh, doesn't matter how, how much learning you do or how much uh, tutorials you watch online until and unless you don't uh, do it on your own you won't get it right so practice is very important and first time second time third time you're gonna fail you're gonna fail a lot so you you won't get what exactly you thought of but that is very important because that is actually setting up the right path that is actually help you or you know rather reveal the right way of doing it as you can see i have still not washed the needle i'm just playing with you know different colors you know doing back and forth to create the right blends Thank you. 